outside hidden toe, too. around the front, yeah. gasket set, there yeah. yeah. fog light lenses, should be one, yeah. yeah, spotlight and a headlight lens, right, that's about it, is it, we hope so for anything forgotten is forgotten. Rally team is on the move. Manager, head buzzing like a computer. Drivers and navigators, the fighter pilots. And the ground crew, the mechanics, fairy godmothers with their own bit of magic if it's needed. Yeah, I didn't hear that one, David. What was it? Oh, everybody's heard that. I'll tell you again for the benefit of this one. Goodbye. <laughs> Young chap goes home from school one day, says to his dad, Dad, there's a beautiful new school teacher. She's like that. <laughs> the sound of revelry by night wrote a poet on the eve of a battle. Well, the boys wouldn't know about that. They're a rally team, the Ford team, relaxing in their own way on board ship out of Liverpool, bound for the Circuit of Ireland rally. They tell you to get lost if you talk of team spirit. Yet there's a remarkable understanding among this mixed bunch of enthusiasts. <laughs> You know, you must remember that all this has been laid out on 90% guesswork. Anyway, I put before control there, but that, that's, you know, that's a guess. We're just guessing that there's going to be a control. Ryan Melia has made the recce. There's a briefing, a lot of questions, a little laughter, a little tension. Teams are doing the same in all the Bangor hotels. As rallies become tougher every year, there is little room at the top for anyone except the dedicated professionals. And not only drivers, mechanics too. You can't queue at a garage for an oil change or a tire check anymore. But the regulations do allow for fast-moving pit crews leapfrogging ahead of the drivers to provide instant servicing along the route. Just one such crew, the Davids. David Wood and David Rose. We don't want you going down at us. Just a break for me, David, quickly. 
Oh, five minutes is the most. Three minutes. Now, do it again. Right. Elford car three, Paddy Hopkirk car two, but tomorrow, who knows? Food for the drivers, work for the Davids, brain check for David Siegel Morris, oil for Elford, tyres for Melia, and something under the bonnet for Paddy Hopkirk. All the rival team's mechanics are working like crazy, but time spent on servicing has to be made up. That last day was terrific. Oh, marvellous. <laughs> we made it in time anyway. Yeah, it was terrific. Tell you in a minute, David's going to work it out and see what we need. 
straight into Killarney from here, isn't it? Yes, and it's raining too. Phew. We'd better get back, isn't it? I'm going to get inside the car. Yeah, right. How about the petrol then? We need more than you've got, so we'll go and get it in Killarney. Yeah, right, Adam. staging post of the coming and going, and a sorting out of those who won't make it anymore and the boys still in for a fight. Wonderful names have flashed by, Sally Gap and Ballinagree, Bull's Pocket and Ladies View. And tomorrow, there's Holly. You went to bed early last night. Did you hear any results? Yes. Um, Paddy's just leading at the moment, you know, by that much. We're lying second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Who's second? Vic, of course. Vic second. Who's third, then? Charlie Gunn's third. We're fourth. Roger Clark's fifth. And, um, Brian Mealy is sixth. Okay. I don't know. He's not far, only about half a mile. I don't know when he can walk. Is he in, inside or out of the control? Uh, has he passed the control or is no, he? No, he's no, still he's in the stage. He's still in the stage. Him, no, 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 Just have to see if he can get out of yeah. There he is. No? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wow. 
David Siegel Morris amazingly survives the crunch to his steering gear, survives to keep the team prize still on the books. These men drive and punish their cars to win, knowing that their mechanics are hovering around as stage follows stage. A routine check, a drop of oil, these are when things are going well, but run out of road and tangled with a stone wall, and you need the kind of surgery that the Davids can give a car. They're watching. Up, went back to the route check. To go okay. back to get him, of course, in a bloody hurry because we went on for a couple of miles. So we're looking for the route check and we didn't have the border. Mm. And when we went back, got.
First, in class four, a Ford Cortina GT entered by the Ford Motor Company Limited and driven by V. Elford and D. Stone. The entrant also receives the check for 200 pounds for second place overall. by Paddy Hopkirk and Terry Harriman, and this trophy is accompanied by a cheque for £300. And now, finally, ladies and gentlemen, the One Make Team Award goes to Ford Cortina GT, Elford, Siegel Morris and Melia.